Okay, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. So this is a video that we are going to do while I'm doing her hair. So just some quick disclaimers. Um, while I'm doing her hair, I'll be interlocking her hair. This video is absolutely tough. So should I say this video has absolutely nothing to do with interlocking or any technique. This video is about Graves disease and hypothyroid. This client here, you guys have seen her oh, several right. times. She wears it, she wears her mask, and we both have another mask. Um, she has a nickname called Kitchen Sinker because she was my second client when I started this business. All right, that's how long. In fact, when we both met each other, her locks were that's back in the day when I used to take people with locks, even if it was like a week old. Mm -hmm. Right. Her locks, I think you were like a three, month. Three three months in. Three months in, right. Mm -hmm. So I could have taken a comb and combed the whole thing out. That's, that's how long we know each other. Now her locks are past her bra in the back. So today was her appointment. She came in and she knew me when I was single, when it was just monkey and I, when mm -hmm. we've been through in fact she was one of the clients, there's two clients who told me I had fibroids. And if you guys met me in person, we're very open when we talk. And I was telling her that, you know, girl, I got this big ass belly and my sex drive like gone. And she's like, Yanni, you got fibroids. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. I don't have fibroids. <laughs> I have fibroids. My fibroids was taken out three months after she took her fibroids out. Mm -hmm. So history is repeating itself again. She came in this morning and we just yakety yakking talking. And she's like, so what medication are you on? Because some days I'm fine. I have this type of energy. And then there's some days like this morning, if you guys have seen me this morning, I was out of breath. I was, I, I felt lethargic or whatever because the medication hasn't kicked in. You guys, but if you don't know, I was recently diagnosed with Graves disease and hypothyroid. So she was like, so are you on propanol and this? I was like, how you know that? She's like, Yanni, I have Graves disease. You remember that time of the thought? I'm like, get the F out. So we had twinsies. <laughs> you gotta for make, the second time for the second time and listen you got, sometimes you gotta laugh at tragic shit that's how i see i see comedy and everything right so we wanted to talk right mm -hmm. I, I, her mic is on yep right so now you have two people me and her talking about dealing with grace disease and hyperthyroid and she just got a promotion at her job she's now a what are you co-manager for Wendy's right for Wendy's. now for lunch fair management. I knew this girl when she was a fry, uh, uh, the girl who fries the fries. I was <laughs> fresh, a regular crew member. When she was fresh out of high school, like, ma'am, would you like some ketchup for that? That's it. <laughs> That's how long we've known each other. So, when were you diagnosed with, because Graves' disease is what creates hyperthyroid, mm -hmm. right? And there's a difference between hyper and hypo. Mm -hmm. She and I have the same exact thing. Our we're both hyper. Hyper, meaning that we're we create too much of the hormone. Right. Right. And we also create a bad hormone called mm -hmm. TS, THS. THS. Yes. Yes. When were you diagnosed with hyperthyroid? Oh, I mean, Graves' uh, disease and hyperthyroid. Probably about. It's been maybe about two years now. Mm -hmm. I knew something was wrong with me that I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong with me, but I noticed that my heart rate was increasing. I was eating a lot. My weight was going up and down. Nothing just seemed normal. I would get super tired for no reason. And that tiredness is a tiredness. And that tired felt... is not a... Well, it's not a normal it's tiredness. It's not a normal tired. It it's not even uh, you're on your period, so you're oh, feeling you're extra. It's not like a sleep sleepy, a like I'm sleepy. It is like... You're just... Everything in your body is like, trained. if you don't go lay down somewhere... And stay there. And stay there. <laughs> do not get up. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not lay yeah. your behind down and don't just stay there. <laughs> That's right. it. Um... So I went to my doctor, he kept saying everything was normal. I had to go to him three times before he finally... When did he figure out what it was? Because you're like me, you're, all your blood came back normal. All of my blood tests and everything came normal. He was like, your blood, your heart rate is norm, within normal limits. It was still on the high end, but it was on the high end of average. So he overlooked it. It wasn't mm -hmm. really a thing for him. He said my everything else was normal. My oxygen level was normal. Yep, I had he that had hundred oxygen ECG. level. Everything was completely normal. Liver was normal. Kidney functions normal. Everything just seemed okay to him. And I'm like, but I'm telling you, man, there's something, something wrong is wrong with me because something is off. This is not my normal me. I get tired from walking up the stairs, and I yep. don't have high blood pressure, no high That's cholesterol, like me, yeah. no nothing, diabetes, nothing, nothing. 
Why is so this happening? Why is to this me? happening to me out of nowhere? Did you think he was pregnant? That crossed my mind for a second. He did. He ran. Yep, the, under other blood tests, he also included. He's just like, we're just gonna run the pregnancy test just, just Maybe, to be on the safe yep. side. And I'm like, but I'm not pregnant, dude. Yeah, I, I knew I'm I wasn't pregnant, pregnant, but like, unless it was like immaculate, <laughs> right? Like, but I'm telling you, I'm not pregnant. I know I'm not pregnant. He's like, you, you, you can never be too careful. I'm like, all right, fine, good. Do no, it. Test, nope, whatever. not it's pregnant. Fine. Did you get not the X-ray on your lung? He did not do. I had two X-rays because of my breathing. I had, because you remember I told you I was out of breath. They only did that when I had my fibroids taken out when my heart rate would not go down to right. normal. And that's crazy. You actually had, even though we had our fibroids taken out months apart, Yeah. you had Graves' disease, which you didn't Before. know because it went undetected. We yeah. both had it. Mm -hmm. um, and Graves' disease can lay dormant. It, yep. it, creates, it, it has to have the perfect environment for it to... For, for Graves' disease, not mm -hmm. for us. There's nothing perfect about having Graves' disease. None. It has to have the perfect environment to surface, and then it goes straight to your thyroid, and that's how you end up with hyperthyroid. Correct. But um, when I got mine, I had the breathing problem. Mm -hmm. Like, why can't I breathe properly? Right. What, why do I feel... I've, one doctor asked, have you ever had asthma? Like, doctor. And that's why mine didn't think too much of it, because I had childhood asthma as a kid. Right. So he was like, maybe your breathing's just acting up. Have you been sick lately? Because normally yep. mine only starts, my breathing only gets a little crazy when I get sick. Right. Otherwise, I'm normal. Everything's fine. Did they put you, before you were diagnosed, did they put you on medication, which would have been the wrong medication? No, they did not yeah, give me, me any medication I was medication blessed. They refused. I'm like, do I need some steroids? I think I got asthma. I always like... <laughs> He didn't put me on any Anything. medication. He said, said, everything seems perfectly normal. I'm not really sure what's wrong with you. Maybe you're just, you know, overexerting yourself or whatever. What oh, you're you. overexerting yourself, all right. I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay. And um, I went back again maybe two weeks later because obviously I'm still feeling the symptoms and nothing is changing. And so while I'm going to the ER, while I went to the ER instead, you went to your doctor. I went to my primary both, care I went to the ER and, and they my, still couldn't figure, figure out. out what it was. Yeah. Right. Until the third time, he was like, you know, your T4 and your T3 is a little high. Let's it's check it. A little it. higher than normal. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't want to say that you have this, but this There's is a what chance. it looks like. Yep. He's like, but I will send you to a specialist who can actually diagnose you. But it looks like you have Graves' disease. I'm like, I have what? And it's so horrible because it's grave. You think right, it like, like graves? What? Like I, I'm going to get in the grave? Like, what that's the first thing what I does think. that mean <laughs> exactly? He's like, don't start going on Google and go down the Google rabbit hole. Right? I'm like, bro, of course I'm going down the Google rabbit hole. I don't even why know the what doctor, this is. Listen, why the doctor was talking? I had my phone like, okay, let me right. see. Right. As soon I, as I got to die. in the car, like, I believe walking out of the office, like, Graves' disease. Uh -huh. Am I going to die? Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So is this a life-ending disease? Yep. No? Okay, great. Good to know. Whew. Slide your butt down a little bit for me. Right here. But it's definitely, it was life-changing yeah I'll, I'll definitely say that um hearing that you now have to take medication for the remainder of your existence uh, is hopefully not unless normal. you unless it goes into remission unless it goes into remission but that's very it's not highly actually common. it is because i don't know what your doctor told you mine told me it's a 40 60 percent chance and I spoke to people who has it and people who hit me up on um, YouTube after mm -hmm. I posted my thing and they said theirs went to, in fact, one of my clients, she says hers went into remission. That's fantastic. Yeah. So. Mine is on the low end now. It's yeah, I'm still stabilized. struggling to get it there. I'm stable now. I'm on like the lowest dosage of medication that they can give me. I only have to take it once a day. Five milligrams, that's it. As long as I take that, I'm pretty much fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. I'm okay with the one. tapering thing. Right. I, I, my doctor tried to tape it. So last Monday, guys, I got a call from my endocrinologist. And remember, I told you guys, for anybody watching this video, I would advise you if you're getting these symptoms, and we're going to list the symptoms. She and I will list the symptoms just now for hyperthyroid. And I keep saying in the, in the wrong sequence, but Graves' disease and hyperthyroid, mm -hmm. because they're married to each other. Once mm -hmm. you have Graves' disease, you end up with hyperthyroid, okay? It's autoimmune. It's, it's autoimmune, so that it means it's hereditary, yeah. right? And um, when... Sorry, I focus on you here while I'm mm -hmm. working. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I lost my train of thoughts. Help me there. When... 
That's all you said. I know, I just lost my train of thought. Because I'm um, multitasking, I'm listening to what Jimmy doing in the back, I'm talking to you, I'm doing a video, everything. Um, when you get diagnosed with, mm -hmm. um, it's going to come back to me, but we are still talking about the diagnosis. When you get diagnosed officially. With hyper, th with Graves with, disease. Yeah. There are certain things you, oh, now I remember. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I do get brain fog sometimes. Sorry. We all yeah. Do. yeah, I get it. Right. Um, as I said before in the previous video, that's what I was talking about. It's easily misdiagnosed. Let's start with that. Mm -hmm. Because it takes the form of common things, mm -hmm. right? Like, as I said, I had the breathing problem. Mine started off as a respiratory infection. I, in fact, when Jimmy and I, just last night, Jimmy and I was talking, and we realized I had this for a while, like a while, mm -hmm. right? This is not something a doctor, your doctor might miss it. You can't go to your average doctor. Yeah. You have to go, I said this in a video before, you have to go to an endocrinologist to get this one. checked out. Yeah. Endocrinologist deals not just with Graves' disease and thyroid problems like Hashimoto's and all of that. They mm -hmm. also deal with, uh, deal with autoimmune diseases. In general, yeah. In general, period. So you're talking about lupus, you're talking about myasthenia graphis, which my mother has, you know. I'm still, see, I'm out of breath, just like that. Mm -hmm. It's, this morning I called my mother while I was doing this young man's hair, and she was getting this, I just colored her hair. I just did this color, and um, I was telling my mother, I said, well, I'm guess who is twinsies with me? And she said, who? I said, kitchen sinker, because we always give her that nickname, because mm -hmm. when I started doing it here, I wash her here in my kitchen sink. That's before anyone knew me on YouTube, anyone. Like, in fact, a guy referred her who's not even my client anymore. So yeah. she is the last client left from that cycle. Two passed away. One mm -hmm. from sickle cell and one from cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah, the old, old age. You remember that? Rose yeah. and, and, um, and Corey, God rest yeah. their soul. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's frustrating because I know what my body is like. Mm -hmm. You feel like if some days I wake up, I have all the energy. Like, okay, I'm ready to take over the world. The last couple of days when I woke up, I'm like, whew. In fact, when she came in this morning, I was still out of breath. Mm -hmm. I was whispering to her. I was like, come up the step. Why are you standing up in the drive? Mm -hmm. You know, and I called my endocrinologist and I was like, because they, they took me off of the, the heart medication. Flu, behave. I'm doing a video. They took me off of the heart medication and they put, they, they dropped one pill. So I take the, what's the name of it? The met. Atenolol. The met. Oh, metamazole. Metamazole, right. Mm -hmm. That's the one for the thyroid. Yep. I was taken six a day, which was two in the morning, two midday, two at night. Mm -hmm. So they called me, hey, um, with my, my, my last name. Mm -hmm. Good news, your blood is looking good, your levels are dropping, come off of the heart medication and just take five. That means two in the, just switch one of the twos with one. Mm -hmm. That was when, last Monday, the last couple of days, I could tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Mine, did yours come with tremors? Yeah. Yeah. Mine came with tremors. That's my hand. And this is after I did Literally. here in December. Yeah. Yeah. They always tell you to do this. They always tell you to hold your hands, hold your hands up. Hold right. Stare at your hands. The tremors is like something shaking. you would see with somebody who have Parkinson's. So if I'm yeah. doing it here, I'll be like this. Mm -hmm. Not just tremors in the hand, in your knees, your whole body, my head would be bubbing like a, like a, um, uh, what do you call that thing? People a put in their car, a bubble head. No, <laughs> that's what it was. It really was a bubble head. Right. Because it takes over. So it affects you neurologically now yeah so your nerves is off everything is off so this morning i felt i was telling jimmy i got up this morning i said i feel like i have internal tremors because i could feel it i i when i when i hear i have something i like to know it intimately i like okay we are about to have a relationship i'm gonna know every fucking thing about you mm -hmm. i'm that type of person so I called the doctor this morning and they said, okay, I told her, I told this receptionist, this is what's going on. I think I need to go back with the heart medication because my heart is racing. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I was on the phone with, um, someone trying to book and it was just a, 
a tasking conversation. Mm -hmm. There are times people call me to book an appointment and they make it very complicated when they could just make it simple. So mm -hmm. by the time I got off the phone, I'm stressed. Did emotions affect your, your heart rate? Absolutely. If I was aggravated, every, yeah. my heart rate was through the roof. And yeah. I literally And it could be the slightest form of aggravation. Yeah. And I would need to sit down. Yep. That was me this morning. For, just sit there. Like for a stop, it's not like you just need to catch your breath, kind of sit down. You have to literally just not move yeah. for like 15, 20 minutes for it to come down just a bit where you feel semi normal. Yeah. But it's not, you're still not normal, but you feel just a, a little better, not as out of breath. And it's funny, I knew exactly, I was fine the last couple of days. Now mm -hmm. that you said what you just said about aggravation, mm -hmm. I was literally fine. The, not last couple of days, actually, since we got back from from Georgia, been mm -hmm. great. Clients like, Yana, you look a lot better compared. You was looking like the Walking Dead on video. Mm -hmm. A client said it. I'm like, girl, you're right. I was. Yeah. But I had a situation the other day where um, someone who was who was supposed to be a client, there was a, a break in communication, mm -hmm. and her appointment was not booked. And instead of waiting for me to get a, a proper schedule for her, she actually showed up at my place. Oh. That's yeah, she should. Yep. Now? And I didn't know until I heard it on the voicemail. Right. I was fucking livid because anyone knows me knows you don't, you don't show, up show up without a an without an appointment. Yeah. And another thing, you're a new client. I've never met you. So right. that On that's a safety that. issue. I have trust issues. And dealing with that, by the time I on the phone, Jimmy got upset and it takes if you guys met Jimmy, you know he's very calm. By the time, Jimmy is like, she did what? I'm like, yeah, listen to the voicemail. My heart rate has not, and that happened when Saturday, and you're really on the my heart rate hasn't gone down. Mm -hmm. So I have to watch everything. I was telling mom this morning, I have to watch, and I'm not someone who gets upset easily. I may song loud. I know people leave comments like, why has she sung so aggressive? Because I'm fucking Trinidadian. Everything we say, she Trini too. She's Trini it's and Jamaican, so she do. aggressive twice. It's just what we That's do. That's how we speak, okay? We just don't take the right. nonsense. Right. It it's sounds, okay. everything we say, it just sounds... The normal person would say the door across the street. I let a Trinidadian say it. Oh, my God. The, the dog across the street, yeah. You see it? You, you see it? You see it down over there? You see it? it that's a, you see it? No, We're oh, very oh, extra. Sorry. When Trini says, when Trini's explain a thing, we are extra. So for it's the people who don't extra. know, everything I say, because it's funny, my tone has just come back. When she came this morning and she met another client because she was getting worse. I, not only horse, I can't even talk like this. Yeah. I enjoy talking like this because when Grace disease kick in and the hypothyroid kick in, this Yanni, who y'all know loud and disrespectful, becomes like a puppy. It's like somebody snatched my soul out. Right? So I'm talking like, so you bought the color. Let me, let me, uh, let me, um, um, let me just, all right, just go have a seat. Yeah, go yeah, sit down okay. over there. Uh -huh. And um, yeah. that's how I was up to two hours ago. Mm -hmm. That's what it does to me. That's what it's still doing to me until the doctors can figure it out. But I have to, it takes a lot to piss me off, even though I sound loud, that's what I was saying before. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot. I'm actually out of videos and with clients and the shenanigans, I'm actually a very calm person, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't deal with drama. I don't get into loudness, arguments. The fact I can be best friends with my ex-husband and his wife should tell you, yes, you really don't like drama. I don't I allow love it near me. So anything that comes into my space where my energy is like, wait, what the fuck just happened? You got what it. I could have dealt with like a year ago mm -hmm. and just be like, no, I can't. It's the weirdest thing though. And it may look simple to some people, but to like, <sighs> you know? It's so since the littlest thing, things. It is the tiny things. It's the little things. It really it is. is. What is your trigger? Um, since the position that I'm in, it definitely teaches me a lot of patience. Yeah, boy, yeah, no. <laughs> you can't be loud. A lot of patience. You can't be loud. I can't just go off on somebody even though no, you gotta God think first. knows I want to. And God knows they probably deserve it. But in my head, I'm just like... Nah, we can't. We can't do that. We can't. We can't go down that road. We need to. All right, let's let's go at this a different way. Let's breathe first. 
Let's, let's just calm <laughs> like down. Just say, take Woo, a quick so. second. Okay. And and in my head, all I and that's hard do... for me to do because I'm a, uh, in certain cases. Yeah. Because if something happened, I'm I'm the type who would she's nip it in the, the type butt. Quick. More of, yeah, she's. I, I want to nip it in the butt. Like don't I don't ever go at it. don't right. ever freaking do that shit again. Okay, right. like. Exactly. Now I got to think twice. Before, and that's with anything. That's to do with work. That's yeah. with anything. In life, yeah. Yeah. Like, I got to think twice before I get too, you know? Too extra. And yeah, it really does. To... Yeah. It, and over everything, everything now is... has to be second-guessed and thought about before we do anything. Even the food you the eat. The food you eat, everything has a trigger. Yeah. Everything that yeah. you do now is affected. And your weight still will fluctuate mm-hmm. a bit. It was very strange because yeah, you I, did, you did balloon. We you were, were like mad the skinny. opposite. I was eating a lot. That's crazy. I wasn't eating, but I was not gaining anything. I was losing, and she kept saying like, "Fee, what are you, Philly? What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm not." I thought she was looking anything. hot. I'm like, "Girl, you're looking like, good." And that's before she was diagnosed. Like, what are you talking about? I was like, "I haven't done anything. Like, nothing has changed. I eat the same. Actually, no, I eat more, but." I didn't even know because you're burning calories more, like eating crazy. All of my calories are my metabolism is it's going yeah through the roof. Mm-hmm. I'm eating and it's nothing is sitting. It's it's just it's in and out, in out. But in let's out. talk about the elephant in the room, and I know a lot of people want to find that out. Which now is, I can which is oh Lord. how did it affect your hair? So before she was diagnosed, hair. hypothyroid. Well. You know, because we're disease and hypothyroid married to each other. I can't mm-hmm. stress that enough. Mm-hmm. She naturally has a very soft texture here. Correct. Right? Very, yeah. very soft. Mm-hmm. But she always had a full head of hair in her head. Yeah. No baldness, nothing. No, no, I told no. you, I'm the, I'm the only person who have touched her hair since she was like 21. Right. Right? And she'll kind of like... Man, it's been a decade already. Yeah, since? boy, we old, old. Shut wow. up. That's that's oh, why you had to say it's a decade. Shut the fuck up. It's my bad. Shit. I still have you as twenty one. Okay, like, damn it. You, you're right. You're right. You're still you're twenty one. Right. We go back in time. I don't even know what yeah. you're talking about. I yeah, know. it never happened. Right, it never happened. That's Moving on. Right. <laughs> I'm living in denial. Because if you're getting old, I mean, I'm nah, getting older. Nah, nah, nah. What are you up? talking about? Nah, 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 nah. nah. I saying, know you don't just listen, say. Listen, we will be 20. I'll be 21 every year. Yeah, I know you don't just say the D it's word. Okay. You don't, no. don't, you I don't know what you're talking about. What? You, what? D word what? You should have just no, said it's been years. Say <laughs> I didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. That was, it was a figment of your imagination. Your thyroid is playing tricks on your brain. Well, you know, I get his brain fogged in. Your thyroid is playing tricks on your brain. Tricks on you. I'm hearing things now. Yes, that's So. I was like, Fee, what the fuck going on with your hair? Why I'm is like, it I like... haven't done anything. You're the only one that touches my hair, so you know you does not know by messing with my it hair. It wasn't just the thinning. Her, In her case, her hair changed textures. Yeah. She looked like if she had, like, like what we Trinidad didn't sit up for me, queen. Like what we Trinidad didn't yeah. see. You're hunted. When a Trini say that, it means that you're idle. Mm-hmm. Like you had nothing better to do with your time, and mm-hmm. you decide to do some mischief. So I'm right. thinking... You've been messing with your hair. That been doing she something. put a permanent. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why would on earth would, would I, I do put? That? Because <laughs> it was like in a weird, straight way, right? And then finally, she came and she told me one day. She's like, "Yeah, I have high." She didn't even mention the word Grace disease. She's like, "I have hypothyroid." Mm-hmm. I completely forgot it until she brought it up again this morning, and that was mm-hmm. years ago. Once she got on that medication, I even told her, I "Say, Fee, this is like the best I've ever seen you here." It got stronger. It got stronger. Her hair stronger. was shedding like crazy. All her clothes. Literally. Like, what? Yeah, it does that. It does my have an effect. My hair was shedding. It was thinning. It just, the texture was different. Everything about my hair yeah. was not normal. It was not it was just, <sighs> it was a yeah. disaster. It, it really does take a toll on you. It, it does. It, it does. It affects all aspects of your body. It affects it's your not mental just, state. It's everything. Finding out that you now have to take medication for the remainder of your life is not a, 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 a small pill to swallow for right. anybody, especially when you're not used to having to take meds at all for anything. Yeah. Unless it's just, oh, yeah, take, like, take two Tylenol for, for a Take two Tylenol for, for headaches or right. for period pain. Same right. thing with me. Take a couple antibiotics. I never thought to the day I'll whatever. be. Okay. And it's funny because remember I was telling you, I used to be, I used to mm-hmm. work at a pharmacy. Yeah. So I used to work in the back with a pharmacist, with yeah. the pharmacy techs and all that. Mm-hmm. I did that. And people came for. Um, Methamazole. And yeah. Cocoa. What's the other one? The, the other one, one for hyper. Um, hyper. Um, Levitroxin or something like that, mm-hmm. I think it's called. 
you know and you'll see the same regular slide down a little right here right here you'll see the same regular people come in and i said after one time is another i never thought to the day oh sweet baby jesus you have a weird height <laughs> She's like, what is she doing? I'm not moving. Yeah, he's like, you have a weird height. I'm fucking right up my in damn, the middle. I'm my like, recliner I'm not, seat. I'm not tall, but I'm not short, short either. But you're not, you're not short. I'm in the middle for everything. Let's just go there. <laughs> Fee is it's in no, it's your torso. Section. It's weird. Yes, it is. My <laughs> you have a long torso. torso. I have a long torso. So it's messing I'm me not up. Tall, but I'm not short. Yeah, then, but I'm you're not still also, not short. But I'm not fat, but I'm not skinny either. It's yeah. Just, I'm in the middle for everything. Messing it's, up my damn going recliner. I'm sorry. It'll be fine. I, <laughs> I, 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 I pat the chair. It'll be fine. You know, I can't be exerting myself, bending up and down, fixing that damn I wasn't day. doing it on purpose, <laughs> dang it. With your weird torso. <laughs> I'll try and get a torso retraction Thank next you. time. And see what By that June, fix your damn something. torso. I'll work on it. I got you. We're, we're work on that with, shit. All that's, right? that's the goal for June. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Torso Note retraction. Yourself. Note to self. <laughs> work on torso. So poor Yanni. Wait, Yanni. Let's don't put that in the calendar right now. Yanni's chair. Yeah. Too self. But okay. people ask, so what are you doing for June? I'm working I'm on my working torso. Working on the torso? <laughs> it's too my long. Said it was, it was Not your abs. Not your abs. Not my abs. The, the, the length the of the, the whole length. torso. Oh, I got to do something to kind of shrink it. Instead of doing too much for the good laugh chair. You got to laugh at life. That's the only way you get to survive these yeah, kind of things. Yeah, you got to. You got to. It's definitely a shock and a big lifestyle change overall when you get diagnosed with something like this that you weren't expecting. And for me, it wasn't like I have things obviously that run in my family. Traditional, you know, high blood pressure runs on my mm -hmm. mom's side, and my grandmother had uh, Alzheimer's and cancer runs on my dad's side of the family. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's right normal whatever great but autoimmune disease is not not so much yeah not so much it's not really my mom has pretty been relatively healthy so is my sister we don't really have like crazy yeah. oh we need to go to the doctor on a regular yeah, basis that's type me. Deals. And other now, than migraines and if i, I don't go doors. every seven weeks the yeah, world that's another is thing to we fall. have to go get blood tests often because they have to keep checking that you're stable exactly that that blood is stable every seven weeks i have to get my blood work done all over again and that's still on top of going to my regular doctor still going to see my gynecologist getting blood work done by them as well but they're all testing for different things so i give a lot of i, I have a lot of blood a lot of bloods going out of these arms mm -hmm. they love this vein this vein oh, right yeah, here. I, I don't need blood so it's this it's, is their um, favorite side this side right here. I get poked so many times, my arms could have been pregnant. <laughs> Who are you telling? <laughs> Who you telling? The inside of my elbow should be knocked up by now. I'm trying to tell you. But what I'm going to get, what we were talking about this morning, she has an app on her phone. I'm just going to get the, the thing you put on your finger that you see in the hospitals. And to I'm going to get to track. On yeah, a regular basis. because it, mm -hmm. my heart rate is normal. I can feel it. it's still high because hers was 92. Mine is I like 92. that. It's still high. It's still high. It's below it's, the what will be high, right. but it's still. But it's still and she was just high sitting end. there. And I was just sitting That's there. the thing. Our heart rate goes up. And we sometimes we just laying on the bed picking our nose. That's but me, it. I said nose picking. That's, that's, you. that's really what it is. And She's just laying there picking her nose. I'm yeah, just I'm sitting there sitting playing here. a game with my phone. I ain't doing nothing. But my heart rate is still at 92. Yeah, and most people it's like and she wasn't doing. 75. In fact, when you did the test, you were here. You were sitting there with a the color in your hair for almost an what hour. thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty forty-five. You just sat there. You didn't I even didn't get up anything. to use the bathroom. Nothing. No overexertion. Nothing. Of any kind. And it was and ninety-two. Still on a high. That's a treadmill, like running. Yeah. Not running, but yeah. Yeah. A walking heart rate. A, like a good. You're yeah. Doing something. So they call it a rest, but rest, like no. resting state. Yeah. Our resting state, that's why it's for still me, on the high end. it's hard for me to, you know, mm -hmm. um, that's why I lost that weight so fast. Yeah. And it's not like water, it just, whew. it just drops. Yeah, it just drops because you're really burning your metabolism. A lot of calories, very that's, It's quickly. weird that you were eating yeah. because my appetite, there's some days I could eat a horse. Right. I'm eating. I'll pack a plate of food and Jimmy looking at me like, really? Then I'll beg him for some of he food. Right. Right? Make sure you baby don't yeah. want that. Make like sure this you morning. And anytime I'm going through like a slight crisis, I'll mm -hmm. call it that. Like how this morning I got up with a voice and 
I was looking like the walking dead again. I don't, I'm not hungry. Right. Like, I haven't eaten Because you don't have much of an appetite like, in I those moments. Eaten. You're too tired. Yeah, I'm too tired to, you know. For me, I would go through, it would be like a phase. It would happen one day. One day, I am yep. super duper tired. Everything is exhausting to me. My heart rate is through the roof. And then the next day, I feel yep. kind of normal. And then I eat like a horse. But the other day, I, I'm too tired to even think about food. I just want to go lay down. That's yeah. the only thing I think That about was me last night when I got bed. off the phone with, the, with, with two people trying to book. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was just drained yeah, when I was done talking to them. You, like, yeah. you know, because to book me, it, I have to go through a process with you. So it's a lot of talking anyway. And it only happens when people who are trying to book. Mm -hmm. Once you become a client, we never have to go through the that process. That conversation again is right. just, hey, honey, like, yeah. what are you free? Yeah, okay, you don't even you call me. Just, it's a text. Yeah. She sends a text out, hey, look, we're doing Day this time. this one. Give me a date, give yeah, me a time. It. Okay, there you go. But I'll by the time I got time. off the phone and I was telling Jimmy, I was like, that, that's how, because it also fucks with your mind. Yeah. That's how frustrated I got last night. And just with everything. That, mm -hmm. um, you don't just get anxiety. You get what old people say, angsty. Like you get angsty, aggravated yeah. quick. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And um, I was telling Jimmy, I like, I like, fuck it. I just feel into to 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 keep the regulars and just drop everybody. Drop everybody. Yeah. Not drop everybody, but you know, don't worry about new clients yeah. in the ship. And it's not a money thing. You yeah. know, it's just I'm trying to help as much people. Jimmy and I try to help as much people as we can. Mm -hmm. I was like. You know, it just seemed to be a I'm lot. Just trying, they're just trying to book, but they're making it difficult, and mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. I just fell asleep in bed, in my clothes, just knocked out. Within, and I fell asleep in like seconds. And that's not me. Usually when I get in the bed, I had to play my hidden treasure game. Right. Pick my nose some more. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not working, I just like going up in there. It's always some kind of treasure. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God. She said it's a hidden treasure. It's like a hidden treasure. You always find, find like... <laughs> I gotta find the gold, man. You always find gold in there. Find right. the gold. Jimmy you was like, did you get a... Puzzle right, puzzle Jimmy? Puzzle? And then you gotta examine it too. Like, what is <laughs> what that? Is that? Like, what exactly is that made yeah. out of? That, where did okay all right maybe yeah, I, should I have a boogie type of nose <laughs> so usually I'm, I'm just so you know a client said something I saw her two days ago and she made a valid point you know I was telling her and she's also been my client for many years hi gel and yeah she did a video so you're gonna see her video um she said something she said Yanni if you could have touched somebody because she's in the medical field so she know what Graves disease is she said, if you could touch someone and just let them feel it for a while, because she said, because you're such a high impact person on a normal day, and I'm somebody who don't drink coffee, no energy drinks, mm -hmm. no nothing. Just, right. I get up in the morning, I drink my warm water. That's it. No lemon, just drink water throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And she said, what is, and I guess you could relate to, the, to this too, what is, not weak, but lethargic kind mm -hmm. of, for right. you, yeah. It's normal for somebody who right. don't even have Graves' disease. Right. So that's how we can detect it quickly. Like, yeah. that's not me. Exactly. Like, you have a high, a high impact job. You're yes. managing an entire store. I'm constantly I have a high impact job because I have to make sure everybody's schedule is right. Come get it here, don't Jimmy. Set up this exactly. person. Even though Jimmy does the washes, I still tell him how the sequence, because some people wash is not the same, you know. Mm -hmm. For most times, some, a lot of times I, I have to put in my two cents, you know. Mm -hmm. Make sure the person here looks good. All right, okay, this is what I needed to do. She has healthy. I've been doing it here for years, but there are some clients I have to sit down and go into detail with. This is how you can get your hair healthy. So she said, somebody feel what you feel. They're going to be like, oh, that's what it feels like? Yeah. We can't describe it. It's, it's, it's not a normal It's not describable. Feeling, but you amazing. just know that something is it's wrong with you. And, and if the only you thing that I go, can probably tell you is just be more in tune with, with your, your body. body. Yeah, yeah. Be advocate for yourself. That is and be aggressive with important. your doctors. Advocate for yourself. I had to see my doctor three times before yep. he finally it was like, says okay, they run certain tests. And yeah, you have to be. Yeah. You have to advocate for yourself. You have to be there. Be all up in. Listen, I I was here two weeks ago. I don't know what it is. Can you run something else? But you have to find something because I know that something is wrong. Yeah. Advocate for yourself. Know your body. Understand and figure out when something is off. 
look something at, yeah, yeah if, it, look if it talk like a duck and it quack like a duck and something it got, it got a, a plat duck. yeah like a duck it's foot. a duck it's a okay duck. it's not a duck it's, it's, it's <laughs> no it ain't a dog it's a, a duck. duck yeah that's okay what it is. we're not telling y'all to be hypochondriacs but the, a, the gentleman who who was with her he left her already, already did his year he said something and that's a lot what we think like is it coming in black women like no it's just coming in it's women just coming in women in general and a certain age of women mm -hmm. so ladies men you can get it too i have a male client with it yes. ladies go get yourself checked out so i'm glad she came today we are twinsies on way too many things i know i already told her i like listen <laughs> you find out you got any other sickness keep that fucking shit to yourself <laughs> I I'm just, I would do your hair from <laughs> outside. A, you are I'm not coming in my house <laughs> because this is twice this has happened. She's going to do my hair yeah. with fishing line, okay? Right. She's gonna... You told me you had fibroids, then a few okay. weeks later, I end up having the same fibroids. surgery you had. Do it again. Right. Now, now Graves disease Graves and hypothyroid. Disease. So keep your damn diseases to your fucking self. Okay? I'll try. <laughs> I'll work on it. It wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to share. I was trying to be a little stingy with it, but it wasn't really working out. <laughs> Yanni so. look like she won something. Let me let me pass on Graves disease. Yeah, let me just, you know, it seems like you need a little extra a little kick extra. of something in your life. I like you what's can, going to perfect. Yeah, no, yeah. You can You can take this. I have have Thanks a lot. I, I appreciate you, but according to Jimmy, next time you want to share something share 10 million dollars okay guys, i got you working on that there we working go on you it. manifested it yeah guys thanks for watching this video again this video has nothing to do with technique i know somebody gonna totally disregard what the heck i just said and it be like are you going to like get it here you missed what this is about it's Use about health health and knowledge most importantly knowledge yes when it comes to your hair i don't give a flying funky monkey what technique you use go use it that's just not what my work is about once in a while a situation like this happened and i feel inclined to share it okay i've been doing this um young lady here for you run out Too of long. a long time okay <laughs> i saw her grow as the woman she is today and she saw me grow as a woman i am where you know now i we, we own a couple of houses we you know she was there when monkey passed here. away yeah i know monkey, monkey passed away she R. was R. there i know Shout out to Monk Monks. We love Monks. Shout out to all our Trinidadians and all our Jamaicans and all our Haitians and Bajans and call all of them. And Caribbean. Cubans. Caribbean. Shout out to all the people that is in Europe. I know y'all. I didn't know that there. Africa. Shout y'all out too. Hey. Motherland. All of y'all. The motherland. Um, where France. I know y'all follow people as far as China. One person from China hit me up. And we love you all and thank you for the love and support. Go get yourself checked out. Tell your doctor, run some tests and tell your doctor, refer you. Please look up all the endocrine diseases, diabetes, um, hypothyroid, hypothyroid, all of that. Look Hashimoto's, up also autoimmune diseases. Auto so that's myosinographis, lupus, thyroid problems. There's more. Look it up. Look at the symptoms. Do not become a hypochondriac, but see Wait, maybe that's why this shit is happening to me. And right. go get yourself checked. Right. Don't wait until we were luckily, lucky that we knew something was wrong. If you don't, you're going to go into something called thyroid toxicity or mm -hmm. thyroid storm. And that's what would have happened to me. Jimmy didn't take me to the ER. You can go into cardiac arrest because your heart, heart is, is going crazy. too fast. You don't want that. Okay, Definitely. guys, I love you. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, and also, please stop trying to text me. So stop trying to book me by your text. If you're another client who meaning one like who sat in my chair, don't no texting, no emails. If you're trying to book me, call, leave a voicemail, speak your name and telephone number clearly, and I'll return your call. Be patient, please. All right, be blessed everyone. Bye. I had to crank the chair up. There's a point where you <laughs> you forget. You with your weird torso.